Okay, that was a great win. Um, beat, beat a really good team, quad one team, team that'll compete for the Atlantic 10 championship. Hard to beat a good team twice, let alone three times in the last three out of the last four years. Travis Ford's a great coach. And um, we just had a little, we had a little more. Um, we had the best player on the floor tonight, Wendell Green. Um, he was the best player on the floor um, at St. Louis. And he was again today. Is it any coincidence that Uri Collins uh, is one of the top five point guards in the country, recognized by everybody? Um, have something to do with it? It probably does. Uh, that's how that Wendell keeps score. And um, you know, he's, he's he's special. Um, but I thought every I thought everybody contributed tonight. I thought there was a lot of real key contributions. You know, Alan Flanagan with his defense and you know ten rebounds, nine defensive. His toughness, his athleticism. You know, KD, you know, getting in the rim, scoring through contact and being there late, you know, when it mattered. You know, Janai with eight blocks and, you know, he made some tough baskets in there. Obviously, he missed some shots around the basket. Those aren't easy shots. When he gets to finishing more, we'll be better. Um, you know, Jalen Williams, there were times when he was really, really a guy I could go to. Um, and obviously, those guys played – you know, 32 minutes, Jalen and and uh, and and Wendell, so probably pretty pretty tired. Um, that team's been averaging 84 points a game. They played Providence, they played Memphis, uh, they played us, played Maryland. They played a great schedule. Um, but for us to hold that team down to 60 points gives you know um, is very significant. It was great. Wendell's got great confidence. Um, Wendell's got great poise. He's got great preparation. Um, you, you know, Wendell's been playing at high levels his whole life, with the exception of the one year at Eastern Kentucky. He's been at the highest level of basketball at, in high school, La the Muir, Detroit Country Day, AAU ball with his father. So he's he's not afraid of the moment. He he relishes the moment. He takes advantage of the moment. And and he knows his coach believes in him. And just you know, what's going through your mind as you see KD set up to make that beat to Allen Allen on that number? You know, just KD is a, a special athlete. He really is. And I want him on the floor when it matters. And um you know, he's going to get the 50-50 ball when it matters. He's going to make plays. He's, you know, he's, he's an incredible competitor. Um, need a stop, he'll get it. Need a rebound, he'll get it. Need a 50-50, you know, need it. And need a tough basket. He can get it. So those plays defensively to give us some offense. And the fact that we just didn't give St. Louis any second chance points down the stretch, I think was very significant. I mean, just guys making plays, that's all, you know. Um, we we wanted bodies on bodies. And and there were times when we doubled Yuri and then the rims, un, 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 you know, so that would be a, an example of you can't do that, even if you get a bad matchup. And we had, we, we had our point guards down there front and their center. But our bigs, you know, Dylan and Janai, Stay between their man and the basket. That's very encouraging, too, for me to both see both Dylan and Janai able to switch and switch off on a on, a, on a, an attacking guard like that. Trust me, Yuri Collins or other great point guard would rather be guarded by somebody their own size than somebody that size that can stay with them, stay in front of them. I called timeout with about five to go just to give those guys some rest because I knew I wanted to close with them. And so, you know, it wasn't anything strategic. In fact, St. Louis benefited from it too, but I didn't care. I wanted to call that timeout and give our – and I never do that. 
but I just knew I wasn't going to, I was not going to sub that group out. And they closed well. And that was, it was suggested by Steven. Steven made that suggestion and it was a good call. Um, I think Burgo helped me call a really good offensive game. And I thought that's, uh, that, um, Ira did a great job with the substitutions and rotations, and Wes and Chad had the scout. And they did a great job with the scout. It was a real team effort. You mentioned the ability to switch other guards. Take the closing possession in the first half. Was that something you were looking over to the bench and making sure he had the defensive assignment right? What did you say about him as a defender to kind of be able to make that switch in a key situation like that? All bigs love that. Mm -hmm. All bigs want to get on that guard because they're tired of getting banged in there. But Wendell and KD and Zepp, you know, those are the guys that that got, you know, put on to a car or, or those bigs. And, I mean, they took a physical beating down there. But those all three of those kids, KD, Wendell, and Zepp, are all tough. Advice. Bruce, um, what do you say just again? I know you talk about Zepp a lot, but it seemed to really show that those last few minutes um, as they started to see that. Um, how, do you, how, how do you keep that going? You know, in the last four, five minutes of the game, St. Louis had all the advantages in a sense that that's an experienced team. That group's closed out games all, all last year. Now, they got they do have a couple new pieces, they do, that they're trying to blend in. But Janai's never closed out a game for me in a tight game by the Northwestern. Jalen was playing behind Jabari last year. He didn't close out a game. The three guards did. Al and Wendell, and uh, a healthy Al. And you can see what a healthy Al does to us athletically. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, we, we put another elite athlete out there on the floor, and that that was a separator. I thought, I thought some of our guys' size, physicality, I want to give Damon Davis some credit, my strength coach. That was our fifth game in 12 days. We had a red eye back. Wednesday night, Thursday morning. We had a hard practice Friday, and I didn't do anything with them Saturday except talk to them because I needed their legs fresh. And um, that was one that we could have – look, there's a lot of reasons why I could have lost that game. Their experience, um, five games in 12 days, um, you know, they're a good team. But we found a way, and that's encouraging. <laughs> Bruce, uh, you guys had a hard time in you know, a lot of that second half scoring, but then down the stretch, attacking the basket, getting, getting buckets from a variety of guys. Just you know, what was the key to getting, getting them going? Well, I think KD maybe was the key starting it, getting us down here with a tough two. Then we got a few things in transition. Yes, we definitely settled for some shots. We had some bad possessions in there. But look, give the defense credit. That's what good defenses does to you. I didn't, I didn't draw up a play to have Dylan drive the ball to the basket with a one-hand floater. From eight feet. That was not something we work on. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.